Hello, Jim and Patty. This is Oceana over here with G3.agency. Uh, this is your free website audit. Just letting you know a couple things, changes you can make to your website to start getting more jobs. Um, I will tell you, I'm pretty excited about this one. There is a lot of promise. Um, if you're hearing a piano in the background, it's not because I'm trying to be <laughs> dramatic. My uncle Jim actually is downstairs playing the the piano right now. <laughs> I have my door shut, but he, uh, you know, it's a beautiful grand piano, so uh, it carries. <laughs> so if you hear that, I apologize. Um, life goes on, right? So, um, so Jim and Patty, what can I tell you about your website? So. First of all, this is a very intriguing photo. Um, it looks very interesting and I want to know more, but I can't seem to um, make it larger. So if this is something that you've done, I definitely want to see this larger. Um, and then let's see, if I save the image, it will show me that modern concrete pick one. So uh, if you want to be found for modern concrete, this might be helpful, but I would suggest that you save the image again with something that is a keyword that someone would be typing into Google when they're looking for your services. So your, um, your service, but also your area. So something like concrete, Seattle, right? So, I mean, not Seattle. You guys are in San Diego, concrete San Diego. So that would be a helpful thing for you guys to do. Um, so I noticed some things that are kind of weird about your website. Um, first of all, uh, it looks like it's a one page website. Like there's nowhere to go from here, but there's no way to contact you and there's nothing. Now I clicked close and accept the cookies thing, which not everyone does. And now I can see that there is some stuff down here, like a menu, but most people don't look here. I, I look here because I, I look everywhere on a website. That's my job. But most people don't look down here and they just look up here for a, a menu. And so people are probably coming into your website and thinking that you don't have anything there and thinking, oh, well, this is a dead end. They didn't even actually build it. So, uh, but when I look down here, I can see you actually have information about you guys. Um, and some designs that you've done. And um, that is fantastic. I love this work here. I just love that kind of stonework. It's just um, fantastic. So, uh, and then another thing that I would suggest is not only a menu up here so that people can navigate around your website, but also a large phone number that is a click to call. That means that if they're on their mobile phone, they can just click that number and it'll start pulling up, it'll pull up your, um, their phone app and start calling you right then and there. So that really helps people transition from curious to customer. So that's fantastic. Um, and then you also really want some content. And what I mean by content is words on the page. Google sees words as uh, lots of content as um, authority in your field, right? Because if you write a lot about something and you use a lot of keywords that people are typing into Google, well, that must mean you know a lot about that subject. It's going to see you as, you know, Google will then see you as a subject matter expert and start pushing your website to the top of the results page for those keywords you want to be found for. Uh, we really suggest on your homepage about 2,000 words to, to start, like a minimum. Um, and then on the back pages, which is just any page that's not the home page, you want to have about 1,000 1, words. So 2,000 words on the home page, 1,000 on the rest of the pages uh, is a really good start. And we'll start showing Google that you are an authority in your field and you know what you're doing and you're the one that that is going to be a relevant search result. Uh, okay, so there's that. And then um, definitely saving the images as um, something helpful. Like this one, PT Loma Og. I don't think that anyone's looking that up in Google in order to find you. So definitely wanting to change these, you know, to, you know, sidewalk or whatever. But I'll go into how you find the keywords right now. So um, this is a tool called Arefs or Hrefs. And there's a million ways to say it. They're all wrong. Um, <laughs> and um, this tells me how your website is doing, how it's performing. So right now I can tell you that Google doesn't think that your website is very trustworthy. These, these scores are very low. This usually has a number, not no data. And this number here is usually not zero. Uh, this is very low. 
And part of the reason, and a good number, a good portion of the reason for that is that you don't have a lot of content on your site, so you don't have any keywords that people can type in and find you. Uh, and then also, you don't have any referring domains. So what a referring domain is, what a backlink is, is um, anywhere across the internet that another website has a link to your website, that's a backlink. You want backlinks from sites that are credible, so they have high scores right here, that are relevant to your industry. So other concrete contractors are really good for that and um, some random site won't be as good, right? So you want to do that and you want to make sure that content, um, you have content on your website that talks about what you do. Now over here I did a little research and this is what I was so excited about when I talked about in the beginning of this video. San Diego Concrete, there is so much promise here. Oh my goodness. So I pay attention to these two columns, this one here and this one here. So volume tells me that uh, 200 for this first uh, for this first example at the top, concrete staining San Diego. Um, now I don't know if you do concrete staining or not, but just as an illustration, so 200 people are searching for that in Google every single month. That shows really high uh, buyer intent because people aren't really looking that up if they don't want help with that. They're not looking to pay for that service. So this is telling me how many people every month are searching for that keyword. And then this here, the KD, it stands for keyword difficulty. What it tells me is on a scale of zero to 100, how hard would it be to show up on the first page if you put some effort on, into it, um, to show up on that first page of Google and get seen by searchers. And with a score of one, that is so promising. That means that it would not take long time to get to the top of that page if you're working on it. So that is great. Another wonderful thing about this is that statistically 3% of these volume is going to call the person on the first in the first search result. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. But um, that means that if you showed up in the top spot for concrete staining San Diego, assuming that's something that you do, you could expect to get do some mental math here, about six calls a month from that one keyword. I don't know how many of those calls you could close if, you know, if it's one, two, maybe you can close half of them. That's three. But whatever your close score is for Home Advisor, you're going to probably double it. I don't know if we're about double it, but it's going to depend on your skills, of course. But what's nice about these, this kind of lead is that it's exclusive. This you know, on Home Advisor, they give the same information to several contractors to follow up with. Whereas this person has come to your website and has called you specifically from there. They're not being encouraged to shop around. They might be shopping around themselves, but they're doing it manually instead of just having all of these contractors bidding for their attention right then and there, right? So these ones you definitely uh, definitely do concrete contractor San Diego concrete San Diego so that's two uh, 200 right there so that would be a six uh, six calls a month you could expect if you're sitting in that top position I'm gonna give you a quick tour of Google I'm sure you've seen this result a million or this this kind of web page a million times um, but I don't know if you know the terminology so I'm just gonna tell you um, <clears throat> pardon so this is called the map pack and what it is, is it shows local businesses um, that have the services that people are searching for. So it's pretty simple. How you get to the top of this is a little bit different than how you get to the top of, um, of the organic results. Uh, I'll talk about that in just a moment. So this is the top result of Google. This is the number one organic result. So it's taken by Yelp, which tells me that that is another clue that people are not trying very hard because Google will give this spot to a local uh, business before it gives it to a directory like Yelp. Um, but Yelp is more, um, is the most trustworthy one. So it puts it at the top. Now, um, this one is the, the local business that is your top competitor for this keyword, Agundas Concrete. 
So if we go to their website, let's see what they're doing right. They're doing something that we want to copy, but then we want to do better than them at, that, at it, right? So I'm seeing a lot more uh, words on their page uh, than was on your page, which wasn't difficult to do, right? They also have the click to call right here. Um, but not only that, they also have more trustworthy school scores. You can see their UR rating is pretty high. Their DR rating is pretty low though, and I'm not going to go into the difference between those, but let's just say, you know, Google sees both of these as important. But here's where they really shine, right? They've got 175 different domains with links to their site, a total of 787 times. So that means that we're going to want to go out and beat them. And we don't want to beat them by a few. We want to really dominate and go up and maybe get, you know, 250, maybe 300 referring domains. But they've got to be high quality or else it's going to hurt your visibility, not help. So um, there's more to it than just going and beating their numbers. But that is basically the, the basics of it, okay? Now also organic keywords. So this is the keywords that they're gonna be showing up for with people typing into Google. So let's see what those are. That might give us an idea of some keywords that we wanna go after. So driveway, CO, probably not helpful. Concrete deck, sure, lots of people are typing it, but do we know that they're in San Diego and that they want uh, concrete from you guys? Probably not, because lots of people are going to be typing that in that are not from San Diego. But this one at the top, Concrete San Diego, 100 people are searching for it every month. Keyword difficulty is only four. They're sitting in the first position and getting 40 people to their website every single month. If that was you, you could be getting those 40 call, uh, 40 website visitors a month. One in about, about one in 10 are going to be calling you. So that's about three or four calls every single month that they're getting that you could be getting uh, for Concrete San Diego. And that's just one keyword. So that's how it gets pretty fun, actually. I, I enjoy this stuff. Oh, what can I say? I found the right job, right? <laughs> so um, here's my information. I really hope that this was uh, informative for you guys and that uh, you found it um, helpful or at least entertaining. <laughs> Maybe it was very boring, but if you got this far, I really appreciate your time. Um, my phone number is listed there on the on the side on the um, screen that you see, and also you can email me at oceana at g three dot agency. Uh, real quick recap: this video is pretty long. I apologize, but um, two thousand words on the home page, one thousand words on the other pages. Want to make sure that they're full of keywords that people are typing into Google to find your services in San Diego. You want to implement backlinks, go out and get other sites to point to your website, borrow their authority. And you want to add citations. Oh, that's the thing. I didn't go back. I'll just do it really quick. So citations is how you get up here in the map pack. So what a citation is, is it's similar to a backlink, but instead of being a link from another site to yours, it is anywhere on the internet that your, um, your business name, address, and phone number are listed. And what that does is it shows Google that you really are a local business. You're not just saying that, um, that you really exist and people are really talking about you, that they're, that they're interested in what you do and how, you know, it, it doesn't talk to people. It talks to websites. That's what it does. So it, it crawls the internet, looks for anywhere where you are mentioned by business name, phone number, and address. And that helps to push you to the top. So you want to go and get lots of citations. So that's my last little bit there. Um, I look forward to talking to you, get some feedback on how I did and if it was helpful. And um, I hope that you have a wonderful day, Jim and Patty. Okay, bye.